So starting us off will be uh, Phil Schneider. And Phil's gonna talk about test phantom fingers for higher biometric security. His uh, faculty advisor is Dr. Quang O oh in the Department of Electrical Engineering. A few fun facts about uh, Phil is he has a cotton candy machine in his lab, which he says he only uses for research, which I'm very happy to hear. He's a level 32 in Pokemon uh, Tashtag Team Mystic, and he is a New York uh, Prosperity, Western New York Prosperity Fellow. So, ready, set, pitch. Biometrics are the statistical analysis of a human behavioral or physical characteristic. This could be anything from an eye scan, to the way you talk, to a fingerprint, or behavioral, how you walk or do you have an accent. We use biometrics in the world all around us today. Whether you're traveling across the country and you have a passport that has your biometric. Maybe you're entering in your cell phone and you're using your fingerprint. That is also a biometric. What if I told you though that your biometric may not be that safe? What if I told you that if you were to give me your cell phone, I could lift a fingerprint from your screen, mold a finger around that phone, and get right back into your cell phone. I'd have access to your emails, your contacts, your text messages, Apple Pay, Google Pay, maybe even a bank account. This happens. This is easy to do. Hackers do it, terrorists do it, and PhD electrical engineers can do it. <laughs> this is a problem that industry has been trying to solve and it's costing them millions of dollars. And it's a problem that my research is trying to solve. I create what are called test phantom fingers. And they're essentially replicas of human fingers that recreate the physiological structures inside. My hope with my research is to measure subdermally or within the finger to use that as a biometric. So inside the finger, we have things like flowing blood. We have things like arteries and veins. I work with companies' fingerprint sensors to calibrate their system to image subdermally. I give them, the, my, I give them my test phantom finger and they image it and they recognize whether they're doing well from a system performance or poorly. My test phantom finger has to be physiological accurate, right? So I have arteries, veins, fat, muscle, skin. I have fingerprints. I put bone in there, blood that flows through. It has a heart rate to it. It also has a capillary network. And when I say capillary network, I want you to think about a very small fluidic network at the tip of your finger. How small? Roughly a hundredth of the size of a human hair. Just enough for a blood cell to flow through. How do we recreate that? Cotton candy. Turns out the sugar strands of cotton candy, the fibers, are the same size as a capillary network. So I'm utilizing cotton candy in my research to recreate that capillary network to create a really realistic test phantom for these companies to test on. My hope for this research? To create a more secure biometric imaging subdermally to protect both your data as well as my data. And with that, thank you. I just can't resist. I think, Phil, when you ever say, I'm going to give him the finger, it's going to mean a quite different thing now. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. 